Why is the government of the United States not taking any action to stop Israel from occupying more land if we are serious about the two-state solution? Well, the U.S. Uh, basically since 1967 has predicated its policy on uh, trying to achieve an outcome uh, through negotiations. And this is consistent with what the United Nations has asked of the international community. In 1967, the U.N. Uh, brought forth Resolution 242 which is still the basic building block for the Middle East peace process. And that calls for negotiations leading to uh, an exchange of territory for peace and the achievement, achievement of secure and recognized boundaries and security for all sides. The United States has taken a very tough position with respect to unilateral actions by either side, whether it's unilat unilateral uh, turn to violence on the part of Palestinians or the unilateral actions of Jerusalem and building uh, of, uh, Israel in building settlements, or in uh, establishing uh, sole control over uh, over Jerusalem. Uh, why the U.S. hasn't adopted a tougher uh, posture in, in a sense, implementing our own policy, has to do largely with the role that we've tried to play. Uh, in the book that uh, I co-authored a couple of years ago we were actually quite critical of the United States uh, of U.S. policy for not doing a better job in monitoring the behaviors of the parties and then holding the parties accountable for either failing to do what they were supposed to do or doing things they weren't supposed to do. Uh, and this happens to be just one of, I think, the weaknesses of our own system. We, we in effect, do not punish either side for doing things that don't help peace. Uh, and that's largely attributable to the fact that we are trying to get them to make peace rather than simply punish them for punishing them for failing to do that. 